I grew up in the Waver Tree area and the Toxteth areas as a kid. Smithdown Road, Lodens Road, Ale Road, around the Lodge Lane area. Made me the person I am today. Still love the area, my mother still lives there. I am ultimately a product of my environment, a feisty little fucker and, uh, and someone who, who loves a fight. I wouldn't have changed my upbringing for the world, but ultimately, uh, yes, it was tough. And I was helped an awful lot for me from places like youth centres. I spent an awful lot of my time playing football with the, some of the lads that are here today going to youth centres, places like the Rodney, places like the Rec, uh, places like uh, the Art Hill. There's just so many different places now. 90% of these places now are shut down or knocked down. There's no place for the kids no more. And that, like I said, I am a product of my environment. We went to them places and all we done was fight, play football, fight, play more football, and try and talk to the old girl every blue moon. So that, that's just what our lives are about as kids growing up and there. Uh, I definitely think it's made me the ground the person I am I'll never forget where I'm from, ever, in a million years on there. Uh, I'm still locked up and, and still in the same place I'm from as well. well. This is where I grew up as a kid. Wow. This road looks so small. That's my mother's house number 39. That's where I grew up. See, I, you see what me is where the fucking biggest shit all ever is now. Is fucking the shipping. Shite! <laughs> you don't understand, mate. I hate them. And they hate us. Yeah. The only difference, I just hate the team. The fans, my dad's a Liverpool fan, so I can't really. I love cop ice. This place has changed lives, chip dressing rooms and Women's dressing room, coaches room, the glove room, stinks that room. Uh, you come through here, you see these vests, international vests, boxing for our country. And then we've got the two rings and up the back is the man himself, the picture of Jimmy. Uh, the icon, the legend, the man. Through the first day I walked in here, I asked Jimmy Albertina how long till a box and he said maybe 12, 18 months. I walked back out the gym and didn't come back for like six months. I stayed under them for the next three years. In them three years, that's where I realised how good I could really be. And that's how I realised it. it was all down to him. Without these four walls in this gym, you know, my luck, I'd probably be locked up. <laughs> so without this place, then I have to, would have had to have earned money either the hard way or the fast way. Either way, it wouldn't have been good. So we kind of created the, move, the, the fight at the, the finale in the movie at Goodison Park, and I was like, I was thinking, well, you know, I've fought to Goodison Park, I've got this close. I still never thought it would be possible to, to actually get that ring on the pitch and have a real fight in there, especially for the WBC world title that I'm fighting for next. Uh, it, it's just a dream come true. We're nearly there now. It's, uh, ideally, I just want to stick the, the ring in the middle of the pitch mm. and just cause absolute mayhem. 5,000 on the pitch. Listen, I don't do it. When I step out of that tunnel, on Sunday the 29th of May, this, I'm not going to be able to hear anyone. I'm just going to hear the roar. So I'm going to come out of that tunnel. I'm just going to stand here, just have a nice look around, embrace it, and then go to work. I'm going to become world champion in that ground and it's going to be remembered forever. But I, no one can ever take that away from me. I'm going to fight at Goodison Park and I'm going to become world champion. And that is going to be the icing on the cake. If I die the next day, I die a happy man. That's the best way of saying it. I am ultimately a product of my environment, a feisty little fucker and, uh, and someone who, who loves a fight.